If you ever wanted to play custom songs on Beat Saber on the standalone quest, then this is the guide for you. This guide has just been updated and this is the easiest method yet. This works for the meta quest 1, 2 or 3 or the quest pro, but if you're wanting to play Beat Saber on a PC via Steam VR or Quest Link, I have a separate guide for that and a link below. If this is your first time modding, we have some really, really important info to cover. Firstly, once you mod, you cannot update the game because then it removes all the mods. So when Beat Saber release a really cool update or DLC, you have to decide whether you want to update to check out the updates or decide to keep your mods as is. Modding also breaks multiplayer and viewing and uploading scores, but you can install multiplayer mods to play with others who also have those mods. You're also modding the game at your own risk. Modding can introduce bugs and crashes and a whole bunch of issues, so that's something to be aware of as well. Also, modding is technically against the terms of service, so it may sometimes warn you that your game is unauthorized and it prompts you to restore the game. But don't worry, no one has ever been banned from modding Beat Saber and I don't think they ever will. They would need to ban like millions of millions of people and I don't think that's gonna happen. So to get modding, you will need a few different things. First of all, you need your quest. You'll also need a PC. It could be a Windows, Mac, or Linux. There's also ways to do this on an Android phone, but if you can get access to a PC, even for a short amount of time, it's highly worth it. You also need a high-speed USB-C cable that plugs into your PC and your quest. So you may have one just lying around, but it may or may not work. You also need a phone with the MetaQuest app installed, and you also need to be able to log into the account that the quest is set up on. But now it's time to get modding. But first, if you're looking for a cool new VR game to check out, then Master of Light may be up your alley. Whoa. If you appreciate good music and beautiful visuals, then this is the game for you. Masters of Light is an action adventure game that uses combat movement with your hands. The galaxy is being threatened by shadows and you have to use your magic powers to fight and take down the enemies to eventually unveil what's in the heart of the black hole. Different enemies have unique attacks, so you have to use a combination of your techniques to take them down. There's different combat moves you unlock along the way as you progress through the galaxies and they utilize different hand gesture yeah. techniques like sniping, blocking, shockwaves Turned and a lot more shield. I'm yet to unlock. The gameplay is kind of like a combat boxing style with an element of dance which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. I think my absolute favorite thing about this game is the music. Kind of like a synthwave daft punk style of music which I absolutely love. Which means it's time for the awkward dance montage. Seriously, this game is a joy to play and makes you feel like a total badass and it's just come out on the quest store So check it out. It's linked down below back to the modding first We need to kind of pretend we're a game developer So to do that we need to head to the meta developer website link down below and log in with your meta account That's set up on the quest that you're trying to mod then we need to make an organization name This can be whatever you want then I think the process has slightly changed But it should ask you to verify your meta account and and set up two-factor authentication via a phone number or provide a credit card if you want. And this is when we need to grab our phone and we need to make sure the Meta app is all installed and it's on the same Wi-Fi network as your Quest. You then wanna to navigate to the menu icon in the right-hand corner of the screen, select the Devices tab, and then select your Quest. It should hopefully say that your Quest is connected or nearby. Then at the bottom of the screen, we wanna select Headset Settings and then select Developer Mode. And then we wanna to toggle on the Debug Setting. If it doesn't show the developer mode option, try restarting the app or your quest and make sure that it's the right account linked to where we set up those organization details because you have to do that for the developer mode to work. Now this is where we need our computer. So for this step, we need to go to a website called Mods Before Friday, but it only works on Google Chrome or like a few other ones that no one uses. And if you need to install Google Chrome, I have a link down below. Then we need to go to the website mbf.bsquest.xyz or Z for you Americans. Now this website is really, really good because it's automatically going to downgrade our version of Beat Saber to the version that's compatible with mods. So if you have modded before and you want to back up your scores and data, you will need to do that via side quests. And I have instructions for that link down below, but hopefully you already have side quests installed and know your way around it. All right. 
So now we need to plug your Quest into your PC. We then want to select Connect to Quest on the MBF webpage and it should pop up with the window that says Quest. We then want to select that and press Connect. If it doesn't show up, try a different USB cable because they can be a bit hit and miss. Now the website should prompt you, but what we want to do is pop the headset on and it should prompt you to allow USB debugging. And we want to select yes on this. This is basically just giving your computer access to your Quest. Again, if you don't see this, try unplugging and replugging the cable. Also, you can check your notifications tab and see if there's a notification there about USB connection. Or if it pops up with any errors on the website, it should give you a few instructions on how to fix it. There's also a few other troubleshooting things you can try as well. I think if you have multiple accounts set up on your Quest, it can cause issues. So you may need to disable multiple accounts. Also, if you have a pattern unlock, that can also cause issues as well. So you may need to disable that. But if you are having any troubles, make sure to check the pinned comment down below. I'll leave the most updated information there the best I can. I'll also link the Beat Saber Modern Group Discord, which is the best place to get troubleshooting help. Once you've allowed USB debugging, it should start checking to see that you already own Beat Saber and have it installed. It will then give you some info about downgrading and modding, and if you agree, then select Mod the App. Now this takes a fair amount of time, so don't unplug the cable and just wait for it to do its thing. And yes, it does take quite a while, so you might need a bit of patience. Once it's complete, you will see a page that says app is modded, which means it's all done and ready to play. But first, let's check out some mods. This page will show you all the mods that are available for this version. This will be updated over time, so make sure to check back in and see what new mods are available. From here, you can also read the description of each mod and select and install it if you want to try it out. But be careful careful, the more mods you have installed, the more potential issues you should get, so I try and keep it basic. You can also select the Your Mods tab to see what's already installed, and it's already pre-installed a few different mods for you. And from here, you can disable mods or uninstall them as well if you're having issues with them. There's also the Settings tab where you can also force close the game or uninstall it, which is recommended if you want to update it or are having issues with it. There's also advanced features there to allow microphone and body tracking which I don't know what they do. I assume they work with certain mods. There's also an upload mods or songs option where you can manually choose to download songs and mods and custom savers, etc. And if you want to get additional mods and things, usually you have to get that from the Beat Saber Modding Group Discord. You have to download the zip file and then you can manually upload them from this website. Same with songs. You can go to beatsaver.com, find the songs you want to download them manually and install them this way. But you can do it straight in the game and I'll show you that now. Now step number three. Now it's time to install some custom songs. And for this, you can unplug your headset from the PC and open up your Quest to play some Beat Saber. If it doesn't show up in your library, try searching for it and it should pop up then. Now, it shouldn't prompt you, but just in case, if you do get a prompt saying, this is an unauthorized version, you need to restore it, just try and ignore that stuff. So once Beat Saber is open, and if you look to your left, you should be able to see additional settings for more mods. From those settings, you can then select Song Downloader, and from here, you can search for whatever songs that your heart contents, as long as there's maps for them. You can also search using a bunch of different filters and settings and once you select a song, you can select download to download it. You'll then find that song in the custom tabs icon in your library and then you're all done. You can play custom songs on your quest. Now if you want to install things like custom sabers or if you want to play like the crazy Beat Saber maps using noodle extensions, there's a few more steps to that. I'll cover that in an advanced tutorial, but again, this is just the easy, basic, simple modding process to help people get custom songs. But keep in mind that the modding process is constantly, constantly changing. The process tends to break whenever there's a meta update, so I wanted to keep this guide really quick and easy. But if you have any issues or want to deep dive more into modding, I highly recommend the Beat Saber Modding Group Discord for getting help or checking out their wiki for guides. You can also support them on Patreon. Also a massive shout out to Laurie the Fish who made these modding tools. They're such a game changer for modding. It used to be a million times harder and this process is the easiest way yet to mod Beat Saber. So it's a game changer. If you do have trouble modding though, I'll do my best to reply to comment and I'll also try and help out in my Discord as well. But the Beat Saber modding group Discord is the number one place to get help for modding. But that pretty much sums up everything. Hopefully you are able to mod successfully and you're able to play some custom songs. Keep an eye out for my advanced tutorial if you want to deep dive more into modding and get some cool extra features. But if this is your first time modding, I really hope you love playing custom songs because it just unlocks so much around Beat Saber. 
Saber. If you're new to this channel, I make videos about Beat Saber all the time, so make sure to subscribe and come hang out in my Beat Saber streams as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.